Hey everyone, Steven here with Prismatic Powders. Today we're going to talk about fluidizers. We'll discuss how they differ from box feed systems and touch on the pros and cons of these two systems. After that, we'll go to the booth and walk you through this fluidizer setup process. A fluidizer uses airflow to percolate and fluidize the powder. The air moving through a diaphragm into a fluidizer pressurizes and moves the powder in such a way that it behaves like a simmering liquid. This means that fine tuning the atomization of the powder is very easy, since you can simply adjust your airflow to get the powder to the right consistency. The trigger on your gun activates a Venturi style pump to create vacuum to draw the powder through a pickup tube. All powders can be sprayed through a fluidizer, and though fluidizers can benefit all powder coating situations, if you are custom powder coating, fluidizers are an absolute must-have. Fluidizers come in a variety of sizes, some as small as one pound, and some as large as 50 pound capacity. The drawback of the really large fluidizers is that they don't fluidize small quantities of powders very well, so they are better suited to large volume operations. The sweet spot for most applicators seems to be around the five to 10 pound capacity. Now let's get into talking about box feed systems. Box feed systems use vibration as the primary mechanism to break up and fluidize the powder. They too have a pickup tube connected to a Venturi pump, which creates vacuum, but this tube siphons powder from the box, often through a sieve at the end of it. The vibration moving and breaking up the powder before it moves through the sieve is what makes it possible to spray. These kinds of systems are often used for the convenience of spraying directly from the box of powder itself, and when only standard powders are being sprayed. However, Box feed systems don't work well with all powders, and it can be challenging to get consistent results with metallics and textures, for example. If we are weighing the main pros and cons of these two systems, they would be, a fluidizer does a superior job of moving and atomizing the powder, making it better for its actual function for spraying. But you do have more parts to clean, and though some argue that they take a lot more time to clean thoroughly, in reality, it's not that bad at all, just a few minutes once you've got the process down. Another benefit of the fluidizer is that you are less likely to contaminate your powder because it is effectively sealed inside the fluidizer itself. Box feed systems have a convenience factor with less parts to clean up, but if you're trying to keep your finished product looking top notch and consistent, the fluidizer should be on your radar. Let's go down to the booth and take a closer look at the setup of the fluidizer. So our fluidizer is actually a pretty simple design uh, with not a, a lot of components that go into it, so it makes it pretty easy to take it apart and use it for cleaning when you go to switch out your colors. But first I'm gonna start off showing you the base here. It's a nice one piece welded unit. Um, you got your stand here with your handle attached to make it to uh, move it or maneuver it around the shop pretty easily. Um, the next component that goes with our piece is gonna be this membrane. And this is actually a piece that we sell here in case you ever need uh, additional pieces or yours wears out. You wanna drop that in there and it'll be labeled with a top sign on it there. And that's gonna make sure that you're facing up towards you. And then the next component's gonna be this little rubber gasket O-ring. Slide that piece down in there. And basically that's just gonna be your sealing surface for your next component, which is the large cylinder piece. These have two clamps on the sides and these will just basically clamp right onto that O-ring and give you a nice tight seal down there. Um, and the last main component to this is a nice billet machined piece with a pickup tube attached. This slides right in and it'll fit right over top. Um, and the last component with our hopper, and this will vary depending on the gun you're using, but we use Nordson Encore systems here. This basically is a pump head that will slide right into the top of your top hat. Um, and that's it. And your pump head will be ready for your air connections here, uh, your male, female editing fittings, as well as your uh, fluidizing air pressure line, which will fit right in the bottom of that fitting I talked about earlier. So, Hopefully this video was helpful. We'll put a link below for the fluidizer. Feel free to comment below with any questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.